Okay, Jay, this is a great question here. We're trying to find a 95% confidence interval uh, for the set of data that we're given. Uh, one of the other tutors gave you a really great formula to use. Um, that is that a 95% confidence interval or any percent confidence interval that we're trying to find is given by x bar plus or minus t star times s over square root of n, where x bar is your sample mean, s is your sample standard deviation, t star is found, um, you can find this either in a table or if you have an online calculator, um, some people use RStudio, there are a lot of different ways to find this value, they're all going to be the same no matter what method you use. Uh, is going to be found by doing 1 plus your confidence level divided by 2 with degrees of freedom n minus 1. In this case, we have 10 tests, so n minus 1 is going to be 9. So you're going to look that up in your table, use your program, use your calculator to find that value. You're going to find your sample mean by taking the average of all of your samples. Um, and then you can use um, your calculator also to find standard deviation. There are ways to calculate this by hand. It's just quite a long formula. Um, from there, what you're going to do is your mean minus whatever value you get from the table. We call that T star or T crit, uh, the critical value. Lots of different names for that. Times your standard deviation divided by the square root of your sample size. Again, N is the sample size. And then your high or your upper bound, so that gives you your lower bound. Your upper bound is going to be x bar plus that same thing, t star, sample standard deviation divided by square root of n. Um, there are ways to do this in your calculator. Some um, professors or some teachers show you or let you just do that straight into your calculator. On the TI-83 or 84, you're going to hit your stat button, scroll over to the test, and you're going to go to t int. Um, it's really nice because in this, you don't have to uh, calculate anything by hand. The only thing that you have to do is enter your data into a list. So um, you're going to go to stat, edit, and then in list one, you're going to input all of your data. Then you can do stat, test, t int, give your confidence interval, and so on. Um, if you have any questions about uh, how to look it up in the table or how to use your calculator, you can leave a comment and I would be happy to assist. Thank <music> you.